Alright, while well, I'm in this um, Canon Vixia HFM30, I had to double check what it was. <clears throat> I figured out, I, I'll go ahead and start filming. I um, videotaping. It's interesting to say filming. The um, shuttle removal from the race. So, got two hands free. Basically, like the manual says, tilt this girl over on her side. And let's see. Yeah, that's pretty close. Good deal. Can we see that clearly? Well, I can't tell the lighting, but I'm assuming it's good. Let's go a little higher. And there's a little lever right here, so you push that, and then the shuttle just pops right out, lifts up. And lo and behold, let's see, there's that thread. Let's see, that zooming good. Yeah, there's that thread like I was thinking, pinched in between. So I'm just going to pull that out and then clean up a little more. It looks like there's still some gunk, you know, um, can be cleaned up, what do we have over here, eh, it's not too bad, oops, off camera, okay, so I go on the pile of, uh, stuff, so, let's just go over on this side, um, I don't really notice anything much else, inspecting visually like inspecting in there from this angle. I probably should move the camera over but I don't really see anything that's standing out. Now I do behind this kind of um, it's not really a pillow block but sort of like a you know the, the bearing block spot I do see up in there some more um, fiber material. I'll pick that out um, but I don't really see what else would be causing. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean this anyways that I wanted to. And um, let's see. Maybe I can pan this. Kind of not the best on the by. <laughs> it's dark. I don't know if there's enough. I don't know if there's enough light, but I don't know. We'll see when we play it back. Looks looks actually really clean inside there, so that's good. Um, I'm going to turn this off so I'm not paying attention to this. And um, yeah, just figure I'd document that. And then I'll move the known good needle and uh, known good bobbin that was working on beauties. Um, the, the, you know, best looking, everything complete motorized, white rotary FR, and, um, yeah, do that, proceed from there. Oops, that would be the power button. I just want to document real quickly the oil locations, and that hole is completely plugged. Um, and then there's a little, let's see here. Zoom in on it. That pile is about to grow a little more, but that's about. Let's see if I can zoom. She doesn't want to. Well, anyways, there's a pile right there. There we go. Well, it just doesn't want to focus in. Oh, there's a pile right there. I didn't move the Q tip. Pile's getting larger. Okay, so I cleaned the um, shuttle and removed the race. The race just falls right out, actually. Um, the race doesn't look too bad. Actually, the race looks really polished. Looks good and clean. However, looks like if this zooms okay, 
course it's not good. <laughs> Why not? Who just doesn't want to? <laughs> yes. Oh man, bummer. Let's see, can I go slowly? Where's this, like, there must be like a zoom location on the screen. It doesn't want to zoom. The Twitch screen just doesn't want to zoom it. Like, wants to zoom. Can zoom it over here while it's in? Well, now it zooms over there. <laughs> of course. Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get frustrated. But, I can see mainly... Um, up here, <clears throat> where there's a bunch of stuff. So that's got to be cleaned out. And that might actually have been pushing out the race um, too much. Hopefully it didn't over time it wear anything. Uh, I, I guess would be the uh, shuttle covering the race to have the race out. Or maybe the race tolerance could be wore out, run. But I got to clean that um, I don't know what that's called. The outer race housing or something. <laughs> that's got to get cleaned up. That's going to be probably an even bigger pile. Where's that pile at? There it is. Oh, it's kind of zoomed. Yeah, that's going to continue to grow. I moved the Q-tip out of the way too. So I'll just go ahead and keep cleaning this out. I'm not going to do the like for like transition yet. Um, with the bobbin and the needle of the known working um, as left. Uh, beauties. You know, at least you know, just a little tension play, that's all. I'll, I'll clean this up, then I'll reassemble. Then I'll go ahead and do like for like. I might try doing this bobbin and needle threaded because it's already there. Just to see if it does. Um, otherwise, I'll just do like for like. And then from there, I, if that doesn't work, I'll... I don't know. I'll carry on. You know, deal with it and just... Move forward. <laughs> you know, there's other stuff to do. I'm going to get this uh, spring for the uh, VS2 27 class sooner um, and work on that. So, okay. Um, yeah, we go ahead and pause it. And, uh, you know, I just have to do my like ministry evangelism thing, you know. So, you know, stay safe, be healthy. Learn something new that's true, I guess, unless you're investigating something that's bad. It's not. We still got to learn the truth of the situation. Okay. Be safe. Till next time. Okay. Got that all cleaned out and um, wanted to note. I, I thought this looked like really clean. The back was really clean. But there's these little grooves here going around. And they're actually on both sides of the race, around here. And then up in here, there's some areas, some openings that need to be cleaned out really carefully. I was surprised how much I was scraping out of there. So those were, <coughs> those were really, um, uh, a lot, a lot more, you know, compacted material than I expected. It took a lot longer than I expected to clean out. I don't think without a dental pick, a dental pick's an excellent tool to have. Get you a cheap dental pick set for any of your projects. You know, I got them for I think carb cleaning at first, and maybe some electronic um, devices getting into stuff to clean. Um, but uh, they're I think well worth the investment if you're going to. Um, be uh, repairing anything. Now, similarly, there's a lot to clean in here. There's a little groove on here and up top here. Um, all throughout, there's a lot picked out, and this is what I want up picking out. So, I mean, that pile, it's, it is, oh, focus, cool. Yeah, so that pile grew into a pretty big turd pile. I mean, that's, the last time, that's got to be three times the amount. But anyways, um, yeah, so um, I think we're ready to get her assembled and um, see as I, I leave it here, how it's going to thread. And then if that doesn't, that function doesn't perform successfully, I'll go ahead and uh, use the known uh, as left beauties needle and bobbin 
and see how that uh, lower thread's picked up and then do some test stitches. Play with the tension, yeah! <laughs> Man, this is pretty fun actually. I like good fun, you know, this is, this is pretty neat, uh, good learning experience. Very interesting, and I haven't even gotten to the nitpicking of all the details of the mechanics, you know, the design. It's just, it's neat. Uh, I can already see some other machines I want to study a little more, like the cobbler's machine mainly, I think. I think otherwise I'm not really interested yet in learning too much more. There is uh, interesting, like the industrials do for their pedal, is like using the treadle but as a lever for controlling um, the uh, motor. So like a uh, servo motor they use for those designs. But um, I've thought about wondering if I probably don't have a powerful enough stepper. Um, but I guess if I want to hack something together, I might be able to gain a gain of steppers. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not super worried about it right now. This is off off the grid project. So you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Till next time. Okay, moved up and all reassembled. Now I gotta remember which way it makes the dogs go the right. Yeah, okay. So I technically don't have thread really wound up here. I actually put it up on the other one, but I'm gonna see what happens when I try to catch the thread now. It's probably not gonna work because there's not enough tension, but. <laughs> well, not catching, but it's progress. So I'll put the thread on here, get the other needle, and get the other bobbin, and see what happens.